Hi everyone, welcome back to Falcon PEV. Okay, we're going to talk about the GPS tracker, the Zero Track. Okay, do check out previous video on how to do the installation on the other models. Although today we're going to talk about the installation on the Zero 8X. Okay, so what is the Zero Tracker? Okay, the Zero Tracker itself allows you to do multiple things other than GPS tracking your unit or your device. Okay, what it can do is remote on off. It can also send you vibration alarm alerts to your phone as well and you can actually install the app into multiple phones and allow uh, other users to look at your location and also allows you to you know, let them be able to find you in the event that you need help okay so without further ado we're going to proceed into the installation process okay so the installation process will require you to remove the grip tape and the deck Okay, once you have the deck removed, next is to remove the front and the rear light cover. You okay, take note, there will be one screw at the bottom and one screw at the back here. Same thing for the front, to pull on the light cover. You have to remove these three screws as well. And proceed to loosen the nut that's holding on the suspension arm. Okay, by doing so is to allow the GPS tracker to slide in to this portion here to fit nicely inside. Okay, next. We're going to the wiring. Remove the foams. This will show you the wiring inside. So what you have to locate okay, So what you have to locate is basically the key ignition wire. Okay, if you're not sure which one is the key ignition wire, what you can do is you can switch on the key ignition, you will indicate the voltage, and when you unplug that connector, the voltage will go off. Okay, next, use the wire harness we provide to you in the box. You'll be labeled as well. The wire will go in from here. Go through the side deck and all the way to the back. So once you have identified the key ignition wire, Unplug the wire itself. There's a connector here. Okay. This, as you can see, is already labeled to key connection. This one here to controller, which is the key ignition wire here. Plug it in. And for this wire here, you have to push it all the way to the back. And next, you will have to plug in your tracker. Alright, okay, so once you plug in the tracker, you will see the indication for the power source. You have, remember to test your key ignition as well to make sure it's able to switch on. Okay, so from here, the process is to slot the tracker in.
and of course you have to make sure you put in the SIM card and everything okay. do take note uh, if you're unsure how to do the setup for the tracker we also do have a video for it as well do check that out in our channel okay so once you have the tracker installed inside next is to pull back everything so what you need to do first go for the suspension rocker arm nut there put it back make sure you tighten it this is a lock nut okay next what we have here is the three screws here remember to put them back in okay up next is to put back the plastic cover for the rear and the front So you guys can see it clearly, let's shift the scooter up a bit. So there's two screws that you have to remember to put back, one at the bottom, one at the back. Same thing for the front, there's two screws you have to remember to put back. Okay, now I'm going to the front. Okay, just a reminder, do not over tighten the screw for this plastic cover because it will damage or even crack the light cover. Okay, once you have that done, next, go into the wire compartment here. Okay, what you have to do is first thing first, take note, test the throttle, test everything else first before you cover back. Okay, so what we need to look out for is switching on of the unit. Okay, next we have to go to test the tracker itself. Go into the app. And try to send a command for switching it off. So you have to do a remote off. So send a command now. Okay, so next, once you have everything closed back, as at the top deck cover, we're going to test the scooter itself and test the tracker. So now it's in the on position. Go to the app. Look for your tracker. Your login ID and also your password will be sent to you via an email. So once, there you go, you can locate the device. And send a command so let's do a command off key in the password preset so once this command off sent you will go into off mode within the next three to five seconds there you go so now you switched off so we know the command is working so GPS tracker is working fine Next, we go into command on. Okay, do not send this. There you go. So, in the command off, okay, the key initiation will not function. So, there will be no voltage. So, no, now you send the command on. So, command send successfully. So, we look at this one. The key initiation will come back active in a while. Want to send a command to switch on the device? And there you go. Now you are able to switch on your scooter again. All right, there you go. Next, we have verified everything is working in fine or in position to close back the deck. You have to remove partial of the foam before you close the bag.
Okay, and the back screws and also the grip tapes and the unit is ready to go. Thank you everyone for watching. Do check out our other videos. If you need more help, drop us an email or you can WhatsApp us or we actually have a Telegram group. Okay, to join the Telegram group, go to our website or you can follow the link provided in the comment section. Thank you everyone. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.